What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? I, um, uh, yeah. From the background, you guys can probably tell where I am. Every time I come up north here, I feel like it bellows the freaking black hole. It slurps me in. We have a really fun video here today, though. So a couple years ago, I came here. Well, before we came here, I actually stopped at a store and I picked up one of these right here. I didn't even know they still make these, man. The all-knowing magic eight ball. If you live under a rock, if you don't know what this thing is, basically, you shake it up and uh, it tells you something. Am I going to catch my PB? Ow, freaking ow. I just smacked my freaking, that actually really hurts, it still hurts. All right, all-knowing magic eight ball. I gotta watch where I shake it. Are we going to catch our PB in this video? Ooh, look at that. Outlook good. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there we go. So two years ago, we came here to this Cabela's. We brought this thing in and we let it pick out our fishing lures for us. I found this thing. I didn't even know I still had it. I wasn't even expecting to do this video. When I saw, I thought of that video. I was like, yo, that was fun. The Almighty 8-Ball and I are about to go in here. I think, what do you think? Like three fishing lures is three good holding this camera is so weird i don't even know if you guys can see that science point to yes wow it is really starting to rain it's like thunder and everything too so it's going to pick some of my fishing lures and also we're going to be doing a giveaway in this video as well just stay tuned for that why is it like nighttime it's not even that late oh my gosh mother nature is all one we usually do not have thunderstorms in like pretty much december in delaware it shouldn't be like freaking snowing it was like 70 degrees today all right let me get in there though just you know your everyday guy walking around with a giant camera and a magic eight ball talking to himself Whew. All right, y'all, we waited a little bit. I still got freaking soaking wet. I can literally hear the rain coming down from inside here. Actually, one thing I was just thinking about that I didn't really think about, Black Friday like just passed, so I'm hoping that there's still stuff here. I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. I know they had a lot of deals and stuff. Oh, yo, shout out to Santa Claus. I don't know if you guys can see you over there in the corner. Let me know in the comments below. Should we come back here one day, get a pick with Santa? As far as like all the, look, look at my attack boxes. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of this stuff. All right, so here's kind of the way we're going to go about this. We're going to be fishing for bass, but we need to know, are we going to be getting soft baits or hard baits? That is the first question. Well, I guess we can use either, but we're going to be asking for the first thing that we're going to be looking for today. So should we look for hard baits? Don't count on it. By the way, I just noticed we're in the freaking catfish. Dude, they have such a cool catfish section here, man. Along with the cheese stuff, the chad, the blood stuff that we've seen before, they have vanilla bait, they have bluegill bait, strawberry mulberry as well as like this is kind of stuff i was talking about last time when i went catfishing or car fishing or whatever they have like these kits and all these interesting rigs and then look at these freaking giant hooks right there like what even what is that should i try that out hog wild cheese sudden impact fiber enriched bait as i said before this is just like an area that i have not yet explored what do you think should i come back someday and do challenge here my sources say no all right here's an aisle with just a bunch of random stuff completely all soft plastic so is this the aisle that we're going to be going with hello cannot predict now this thing likes taking breaks all right is this the aisle i need to know now you may rely on it all right this is fun man so officially this one of these baits right here on this aisle is going to be the first one we get here for this fishing challenge so what we're going to do i'm just going to pick random rows until it finds a row and random columns until it says yeah to that column that will land us on the uh, bait that it wants us to buy starting off let's just pick this row right here third one down is this the one where the bait lies hello hello it is certain all right we got big worms we got worms and i, I don't know i have a feeling is it these right here river bugs better not tell you now please how about can you tell me now hello i'll look good all right the eight ball has spoken this is the first lure we're going to be picking up here today three dollars 99 cents river bug bass pro shop tournament series I was actually not expecting it to choose that first one. I thought we were gonna get stuck with one of these giant freaking, like how long is that? I think, yeah, that's a 10 inch worm right there. One thing that I'd actually like to throw and like to get from here is possibly a spinner bait. So we got a bunch of different, we got Strike King, Booyah, Z-Man, Bass Pro Shops, just every brand of spinner bait that really is possible to buy. What are you thinking uh, about a spinner bait? Most likely. Now the question is which brand? All right, right here, I think. One of these would be nice. Nice little straight king. I like this white one right here. Let's see, man. What do you think about that white straight king? Hello? What did I say? Signs point to yes. $5.69. Straight king double bladed spinner bait. This is like a smaller one. 3 16th ounce. Um, yeah, no, I think that's actually going to be fire for this time of year. That one was more like I kind of picked it out and it was like, yeah, that, that's all right. So this last one, we're actually going to completely let the eight ball choose our destiny. All right, so we're just going to walk aisle by aisle. What do you think? There's like some smaller stuff in this one. What do you think? Should I get something out of here? Oh, what? 
first one. I'm not gonna lie, this dude's pretty easy going. Um, all right. The so first column, let's just go like that. First column down, better not tell you now. Can you tell me maybe now? Yes, definitely. All right, so easy going, man. So that's the first column that we're gonna be going with. We're just gonna go right down the line. So first column, or first row, first column, one, one, I don't even know what I'm saying. That is, ask me late, bro, just tell me now why are you playing these games without a doubt. All right, so one, one, wait. I don't know if that made any sense or not, and I don't know why this thing is so freaking easy go. He's not telling us, though. This is, I mean, I guess this is the aisle, the row, the column. He wants us to get two inch Slabalicious Mr. Crappy by striking. I mean, for this time of the year, this can actually be pretty, pretty lethal. So let me just show you what we have from the eight ball, the all knowing eight ball. Those things that we just picked up, we have the white spinner bait and then the uh, river bugs. Definitely a uh, eclectic group of uh, different bass assortments. I'm digging it, man. I got a good feeling. Do you think this is gonna help us catch some big old bass? I mean, you freaking picked it out. Reply hazy, try again later. That's literally all it's freaking telling me. Am I gonna catch freaking Bertha, my guy? It is decidedly so. That is always the weirdest part is when I'm at the register, man, because I, I'm freaking holding this. I don't know what I feel like most people don't walk around with the magic eight ball, but we got the goods, man. It's funny because last time I was here, the guy was like, what, what is that? This time, like the lady was looking at it, but she, she just didn't say nothing. All right, so the cool thing about this video, you guys saw the magic eight ball pretty much chose all of our lures here today. Well, we got multiple. So we got this, we got this. Oh gosh, there's like multiple of the lures that the magic eight ball picked out. So we're gonna be doing a giveaway here and it's gonna be cool to see what you guys can catch on the same lures that the magic eight ball chose. Man. All you gotta do to enter this giveaway is same stuff as always, man. Go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell turned on and you can go down there leave a comment if you would like just like let me know how the fishing's been for you because it get yeah we've had better months but it's gonna turn around right here with this video i have a feeling man he hauled the like magic eight ball there's no way right? it could let us down there's no way it is the next day conditions have changed like drastically for some reason as y'all saw yesterday it was like 70 degrees we had thunderstorms today it is like real feel in the 30s i think it's actually like 40 but it's freaking windy man it's like 15 Plus, I mean, maybe 20 mile per hour winds. It's blowing, all right? It's one of those days where like you could see the clouds and they just look like they're freaking zooming across the sky. So, yeah, we got our bag. As I said, there's like multiples of everything. I think since it's so windy and since it's just like a lot chillier, we're gonna start off with that spinner bait here. Dude, there's literally like, it's like there's white caps on the water. Hopefully we can catch a fish, man. Fishing gods, if you're listening, man, please. Just one fish. I'll be happy with one fish here. I really did not expect this to be like this let's see here a lot of you guys like ask what gear i'm using and i don't know why i just like there's so much stuff going on that i never really talk about it i have been using the heck out of this thing this is the lose mock crush reel this is actually a team lose custom black speed stick this is seven foot medium action moderate fast i have dude if you guys are watching the channel i mean i have been using the heck out of this thing all right, so let's see if we can get a little spinnerbait bite going. I mean, the windy days, you know, supposed to be good for that spinnerbait. I might end up putting a trailer on this. I don't know if you could tell or not. This one's actually pretty cool. It has like a little red-ish mixed in with the white. I think that's red. Got the double blade action. This one's a little bit smaller. I know that there's some good size fish in here. This isn't the biggest pond, so it's kind of nice. Maybe, you know, we could drop it right on one of their heads. Let's see what we could do, man. Ooh, that is nice. The sun is out, poking out a little bit. Oh, it's going away. It's a little warm spot. All right, you know what? I think it's gonna suck, man. That is gonna feel like a freaking brick. We're gonna go over there to that side. That is the windblown side. And uh, I think that is gonna be where we catch them, if we catch them. But I'm kind of gonna go around this little, it's almost like a canal. It's a little skinnier over here. This is where I actually was catching the fish in the summer here. I wonder if they're still around this area, if the wind's getting them to that side. Just never know. As I said, the nice thing though is that this isn't like a giant, giant body of water. So like, they're in here somewhere. <laughs> Will they eat the spinnerbait? Do I have to bring out Mr. Crappy? My fingers already feel it, man. It is nippy out here. I know like a lot of you guys who live, I mean, way up north and stuff, like, oh, 30 degree real feel, that's not even, it's not even cold, dude. Ah, it's just that wind. And me being a genius, I wore a hoodie. All right, this is Bertha's location. She's hiding oh, somewhere over here. Whew. All right. Come on now. 
Woo! Oh <laughs> my gosh. Florida, here I come, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. It like, I mean, really, it's hard to know what these fish really, you know, want or what they're doing right now. Just because this weather's been so insanely crazy. The water is super, super clean. I'm gonna give this thing a couple tosses over here. I mean, I'm slow rolling it. It's not like I'm like super, super speeding it. Seeing if we can get some kind of reaction strike. I don't know. We might have to slow it down. Whoa. Whew. It's definitely gonna be tough in that wind to kind of slow it down, but I do have the gear for it, them little crawls, especially in this like nice clear water too. Over on this side of the pond right now, it's nice. We're getting a little tidy break from the wind. Dude, that stuff is, ooh. It is, I mean like officially December. It's finally starting officially to feel like December. These trees are rocking. Oh my gosh. The thing too about a uh, small body of water like this is that when it gets like chilly, I think last night it was like really cold. We've had some pretty cold nights. I don't know, this, this water's probably pretty cold. I think I might need to slow it down even more than slow rolling. I just don't know, dude. Feels like perfect spinnerbait weather though. Drop off in temperature, windy cloudy let me know man with all those factors and everything i was saying what would you guys be throwing in this pond on a day like today i mean i could show you right here look how freaking clear oh there's a bunch of bluegill right there look how clear this water is oh there's little minnows in there hello all right you've done well kind of this is uh that's what we got now there we go probably uh not my first pick all right slowing around down let's see what we're working with Not bad. Yet again, we're going right into the thick of it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Definitely going to hit up some hot something. Chipotle, that sounds, that sounds pretty good, dude. Nice little victory burrito. We were crushing them in the summer. They were hitting like whop poppers and everything. The winter months, I have not, I don't think I've caught a fish out of here yet. Ooh, all right, y'all. We switched spots. This one seems to be a little bit more... Like protect it from the wind. The wind is blowing this way. There's like some sticks in here. Let's see if there's any bass hiding up shallow. Well, I don't look brush right here. Whew. Oh, we just got one fish. I'm trying, man. We're gonna try our best to catch a fish with this gear that we got. Wow, look at all this stuff that's growing back. A while ago, they cut all this trees and everything down. Seems like a lot of crap grew back. There's some trees in the water right there. Wind's blowing this direction. This cast like right off the tip of that. <sighs> this body water is a little bit bigger and deeper. Maybe that last one was just way too small and shallow and it's just way too cold. Like the temperature changed too drastically. This one maybe it's a little bit more stabilized. I mean still though, the swinging weather is just crazy. Games are done being played. So I fished with the stuff we got. The Magic 8 ball, I don't know man, maybe it didn't mean for us, I guess maybe I should have asked where it meant for us to fish with that stuff. Right now we're going with something that I think might be the ticket. When I've come to this pond in colder weather months, baits like this, lipless rattle traps, just crank baits like this, dude. They've always done pretty freaking good. So we're gonna give this a shot here. It's weird though, the wind is coming. Is that a fish? Or is that a stick? That had to be a stick. What the heck am I doing? So yeah, that's another thing. After they cut all these trees down, nah, it's a bunch of sticks. It's really just one of those days. Dude, I'm telling you, Delaware fishing? I mean, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. Oh wow. Yeah, there's that wind. So when it gets colder, and especially in these December, January, February months, can be a doozy. Is that a fish? Or is that a stick? Is that a fish? That's a stick. Oh, first uh, catch of the day. At least we're like feeling something on the line. But yeah, it could be a struggle to find the fish, first of all. Second of all, to actually, you know, hook them, see what they actually want to eat.
I backlashed the soul out of my reel at that last spot. We are here at a different little body of water. Okay, so look at this. I've seen people, like I drive by here sometimes, and I see people fish this. I don't know whose little body of water this is. I don't know, I mean, there's not any, no fishing signs. Ugh. I don't really know if there's bass in here or what the heck is going on in this little spot. We're gonna throw around a couple times. I don't know. Hopefully we catch freaking something, dude. That's pretty much it here for, uh, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to have a word. We're gonna have to have a talking to with this uh, magic eight ball. I don't know what the heck was going on with that. Just this like, as I've been saying, it's this time of the year in Delaware. Just is not the easiest, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, every day is different. Um, I don't know. We're gonna go out again tomorrow, the next day and the next day. And eventually we're gonna hook up with the Bertha. It's just bound to happen. We just gotta keep that positive mindset. Oh gosh. We are not gonna leave y'all without a fish catch in this video though. I'm gonna throw it back yet again. We're reaching back into the vault and I'm gonna show you guys some footage from a couple months ago. Again, me and my friend Adam were out on a little boat thingy. So let me show you guys that like really quick. There's one. Ooh. Ooh. As you were saying, I'm pretty sure there's one. <laughs> there. <laughs> there's she below. Oh, that's a decent one, dude. Not bad. Nice job. Oh, she's fighting. Relax a little bit here. Ow. Heck yeah, dude. Chatterbait. Little donkey. Oh my god. No way. Dude, it just fell down there. I just cast it. Right there. <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that's a, a good one. Oh my god. That's like the biggest one of the day. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> it literally it like was on the fall. Dude, I literally just <laughs> cast it there. <laughs> I told you, we oh were just talking gosh. about that too. Oh, that's actually pretty that's big. That's a good one, dude. You want me to grab me? Yeah, if you want. Yeah. Let's go, dude. Look at that. That's a good one. Thank you, sir. Oh man, yeah, that might actually be the biggest fish I caught today. That is, I think that is. I swear, I, I think. That's a good one, that's a three pounder. I think we literally, like, I think I got it on the GoPro. I was, you were saying, yeah, she doesn't want my worm. I was like, yeah, she wants to chatter, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Put that thing right down. It hit it right on the fall, too. I saw my line just moving. That's so funny. Oh, that's actually, dude, that's a good fish, man. That is, yeah, that's a big old head. Freaking sick, dude. All right, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, again, make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to enter the giveaway, do not forget to do that. Um, I'm hopefully gonna be doing a lot more giveaways. It is December, which is just crazy. This year's been flying by, but it's already December. I really wanna start uploading like as much as I can in this month. I just hope that like, I don't know, with this Delaware fishing, hopefully we'll be able to do that. Just let me know what kind of videos you guys would like to see and let me know like if there's any non like fishing catch catching videos if that makes any sense because i don't know if i'll be able to catch fish literally every day in december but if there's any videos like other than you know catching fish that you guys want to see that still involves fishing or the outdoors or anything let me know hello well said as always just thank you guys again for all the support it truly does mean the freaking world to me all i gotta say man so let's keep this rolling thank you guys for watching see you next video you wanna know just where